We are a mobile application that aims to provide individualized nutritional recommendations to folks who are on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or just trying to eat within a particular budget. It's supposed to help low-income people, specifically right now, food stamps users, um, get more kind of nutritional bang for their buck uh, by guiding them towards more nutritious, culturally relevant food within their uh, health restrictions, but still within their budget. Our aim is to help these individuals manage any health conditions that may be related to diet. This can include diabetes, cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, um, each of which has a prescribed diet that can help to alleviate some of the problems associated with it. In general, uh, the trends show that lower income people tend to buy um, more calorie dense but nutritionally sparse foods and it's more in bulk because generally they're cheaper. We want to help them um, find ways to both save money in buying produce but also have access to you know healthy recipes and so our app directly addresses them and this problem. One of the things I liked most was the fact that it was so interdisciplinary. If you look at our team specifically, I am a bioengineering PhD student. We have another chemical engineering PhD student, we have two med students, and we have an undergraduate product design major. If you just get people with a lot of different uh, and diverse backgrounds, you put them in a room together and just give them a problem to work on. It's really interesting to see what sort of solutions that people come up with. I think what I liked most about the experience was that we were all people kind of driven toward this mission to begin with. And so we naturally had some element of our personalities kind of jive together really well. The biodesign course was central in allowing us to really formulate our concept and narrow our focus to a particular need. Um, what the next fellowship allowed us to do is to translate that concept into a reality. It is really hard to, to do everything that we've done in the 10 weeks that uh, we had in the original course. And having these extra two quarters feels like the entire experience to me. Um, and we would have never taken it this far, honestly, without the next program. What got us into the community, it allowed us to build partnerships and to interact with users um, and to really move this forward into something that was tangible and real. One of the most memorable experiences I had was working with the Second Harvest Food Bank. Uh, they serve over 100,000 individuals in the Santa Clara County and their aim is to alleviate, much, much like ours, is to alleviate um, the burdens of food insecurity and hunger in the local community. That relationship grew over the course of several quarters, um, and it culminated when we were able to hold focus groups with some of our end users. Um, and to hear the needs uh, that they expressed was an incredibly humanizing experience. It validated um, our project and really motivated us to work to address this. I am truly appreciative for the Biodesign Center and the Next Fellowship for providing the resources, the mentorship, the structure for New Leaf to evolve and grow over the past months. We're really excited about what lies ahead for us and it truly would not have been possible um, without all of those assets by our side. They gave us the mentorship, the funding, the support, both you know, technically and logistically, but also just in terms of motivation, telling us that this is something that we can do. I don't think that I would have you know, had faith myself as much without uh, Biodesign Next's full support. It was a great educational experience as being exposed to so many diverse perspectives and diverse backgrounds and hopefully it's shown me a little bit more about what all can be possible out in the world.